Hey guys, Mango here. Today I want to show you how to make vertical content while recording or streaming your horizontal content on one single OBS app. So to do that, let's dive right into it. Firstly, we're going to go into our browser of choice and we're going to go to atom.tv. Here, we're now going to go to vertical plugins and click download. Also, while it's downloading, head over to iEatMangos.com and pick up yourself one of my wallpapers. They're pretty nifty if I do say so myself, and I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, with that being said, the installer has downloaded. Double click on it, click install, and go through the installing process. While you're waiting for that process to finish, Editor Mango here. Just wanted to quickly pop by and ask y'all to like this video if this helps y'all out and to subscribe to the channel. Let's get this channel to 10,000 subs and I need y'all's help to do so. Okay, back to the video. Let's now go ahead and open up our OBS. Here's what it's going to look like. Here is the vertical scene. And this is where now you can do all the magic of creating your long form content behind me while doing your vertical content at the same time. So with that, let's now adjust our little screens a little bit, make it a little tidy for us. And now we are ready to rock and roll. Just one thing you can do, go ahead and lock the docs so that it is not gonna move while we manipulate these things. And now let's go ahead and dive into our vertical scenes. Right click on vertical screen, click add, create it. You can give it a custom name. It gets a little buggy, so let's say no webcam. And hey, it worked this time. Sometimes it's like, no, it, it, it rejects it, it's weird. But anyways, we have it created. We're gonna go to our vertical resources, right click, click add. And then I'm gonna do a display capture and I'm gonna use one of the display captures I already have made for my horizontal content. I'm gonna go ahead and now click on this red boxes and zoom it this way. It gets really finicky if you don't click those little squares and then right click transform center horizontally. This plugin is still in its infancy, so there are little funnynesses that happen every once in a while, but hey, right now it's working. So go ahead, lock the vertical source, and now this is our no webcam scene. We can right click on this and then click linked scenes and link it with my no webcam horizontal content or stream. Let's now do the same and create it for my medium webcam the current scene that I'm using. I'm just gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna call it webcam one, and I'm just gonna right click on the vertical resources. I'm gonna add my webcam. For me, that's in a scene because I have a green screen behind me, and we are now going to have it set right here. Alrighty, hello me. Click this red square again, be careful, and I have it. I'm gonna just snap it to the bottom. And I'm going to right click, transform, center horizontally, lock my webcam, and now we're good to go. If you wanted to add your Streamlabs, let's say you're going to now right click on the vertical sources, click on your browser, click Streamlabs, and boom. Now you can just right click on this, center it to the screen, and you have it so that all this stuff would just pop up right above me. If that's intrusive, you can put it at the top, wherever, etc. You want your chat, all that fun stuff, you can go ahead and manipulate it however you want. For now, I'm just going to remove this. You get the idea how to use this. Okay, I should also link this with my medium webcam. So I'm going to right click on the webcam, link it here, and now it's linked with the medium. Super simple stuff. You have it all set up. Boom. So let's now talk about the things you can do with this plugin. Firstly, you can create highlights for whatever's going on in your stream slash recording. You can stream and you can record. With that being said, let's quickly look at those settings. We'll open up the cog wheel. And here we are. There's three sections, general, streaming, recording. In the general, you can change your resolution. There's three resolution options right now, 720 by 1280, 1080 by 1920, and 1080 by 1350. I'm just going to keep it at 1080, 1920. You can also change the video bit rate. If you're going to be streaming, you can lower the bit rate. And if you are recording, you can increase the bit rate. And the same goes for the audio bit rate. If you're recording, max it out to the highest. If you're streaming, keep it around 160 or whatever is your preference. Backtrack is basically replay buffer for OBS. If you don't know what replay buffer is, check out my tutorial on it right here. Put it in another tab and watch it after this video. But basically, it is the most powerful highlight clipping software amongst anything else. You know, there's Streamlabs, there's Medallion, there's like the GeForce Experience Now. Those all do not compare to just how powerful Replay Buffer is. And I hype it up because I know it's really freaking good. So that's what Backtrack is. You can do the same stuff and clip your content for vertical mode if that's what you want, simultaneously with your horizontal content as well, or just separately if you want. So that's really powerful stuff. And then you can also create a path in the folders. I have it in my OBS folder and my vertical folder. 
boom, easy as that. And you can also create a hotkey for that. Recommend you create hotkeys, it makes your life a lot easier. For streaming, this is where you can put your TikTok streaming key if you wanna stream on TikTok. There you go. You can start and stop streaming by these hotkeys. Now you're ready to rock and roll. And recording path, it's the same as the backtrack path. You have your hotkeys as well. And that's how it works. Now, when you do start your live stream, let's say your main horizontal one, you can go ahead and click these little icons to do what they are indicating. This little red dot with the arrows is the backtracking. If you want to clip a backtrack like I just did, you can also start recording with this little red icon. And there is the live streaming vertical content button right there. You can start those off separate to the main horizontal content. Very convenient stuff. And it'll be pulling all the audio from your horizontal audio audio mixer it makes your life very easy. You don't even need to now worry about having two OBSs running for your horizontal and your vertical content. It makes it way easier. Let's now check out a clip that I recorded with this vertical plugin. Not anymore. Spike down B. Nice. Oh no, it's mine. One enemy remains. Mine, give me my ace. Where's the I'm the better gamer, baby. I'm the better gamer. It's really cool, isn't it? Now, there's a few ways you can use this program to help you. Firstly, while you're streaming, you can just clip separate vertical highlights with ease. You can also simultaneously clip your vertical content and your horizontal content. The benefit to doing it this way would be that if there is content that's outside of your vertical clip, you can now add those elements in from that horizontal clip. And that's important because vertical content, once you manipulate the display capture, etc., to your liking, it's going to crop out everything else. So that vertical video is not going to have it. doesn't really matter because regardless, this makes your life way easier. Now that you know how to stream on Twitch and TikTok at the same time on OBS, check out this video right here to learn how to use OBS as the ultimate game clipping software.